Last time I saw you, we were navigating our way onto Schoology. I showed you about course directives and the different folders that you need to attend to when and once you've logged onto the system. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you three things. I'm going to show you how to submit an assignment. I'm going to show you how to run your assignment and turn it in. And I'm going to show you how to view assignment feedback from lecturers. Let's get to it. So. Say you've completed writing your assignment, you're very happy with the progress that you've done, the due date is fast approaching, and you want to submit your assignment. What do you do? You log on to Schoology, and you go to the course that you want to submit your assignment to. What you'll do is, there's two options. You either will see that there's an upcoming section here on the right, and you can simply click on there, and submit your assignment. That's one option. Another option is you just click onto the course assessments folder and you go to the assignment which you want to submit the document on. Submitting an assignment on Schoology is as easy as attaching a document on an email. So you come to submit assignment and then you come to this little section here that has a little file in a box and you'll see that the little file icon will write file. You click on it and you go source the document which you want to submit. You upload it. Once it's been uploaded, you'll see that it says complete over here and then you submit. It is that easy. You will see that after you've submitted an assignment, it does write that your assignment has been either submitted on time, and if it's late, as the case here, you'll see that it says late. Should you want to change your assignment and override it, perhaps you've made a mistake that you've noticed and you want to make another submission, you just come to resubmission. Again, you go to file, you attach the document, you upload it. Once it's been completed, you submit. It will override the submission that you submitted before. It is that easy. Now, another section or another segment in which I spoke about that I said I'm going to show you is how to run your assignment on Turnitin. What is Turnitin? Turnitin is a system that BTC uses and many other institutions of higher education that detects similarity. We use Turnitin so that students are able to properly reference ideas that are not their own and to not submit work that is not theirs. What Turnitin does is it checks your assignment if it's not similar to other content that's on the platform or that has been previously submitted by students from BTC. How do you do that? You go to the Turnitin folder and on the very same assignment which you want to submit, you will click there. And then the Turnitin logo will appear. Same principle, you will click my computer to source the document which you want to check or to run to see if you haven't plagiarized. You select it and then you upload. It can take a bit of a while for the document to be uploaded. You need to be patient. After the document has been uploaded, you must submit the document so that Turnitin can run it to check if your assignment is not similar to other content. And remember, the acceptable percentage which you can have is 30% or below. Should you find that your assignment is 30% and above, you need to go rework it so that you can get it under that. What you'll see here is that the assignment has already been checked. And as you see, the percentage here is 27%, meaning we're good to go. Should you want to know the feedback or have an in-detail feedback on the document, you simply click on the document 
and then you just go to this blocked pop-up box to see what content is similar to which one. This helps you, especially when you want to fix your assignment. So you see here, there's multiple feedback on the content in which um, I've sourced some of the information on this assignment. And it just shows you where different text has been sourced from. And in cases where the percentage is higher, you must go rework it, paraphrase it. And if you don't know how to do that, please consult your essential guides. They will guide you on how to write assignments, how to paraphrase, how to reference, and how to do in-text referencing. Now, the next segment that we're going to touch on is how to view assignment feedback from lecturers. Say your assignment has been submitted and it has been marked by a lecturer and you need to see what the lecturer said about your assignment. What you do is you'll go to the course. For example, I've gone to African Realities because I've done an assignment for that and the lecturer has marked. And then I click onto course assessment. I go to the assignment in which I want to view feedback from. I, where I've submitted, I'll click on there. And then I'm able to view the document. As you can see, my cover page is, has been properly written. The lecturer has highlighted a few sections. The lecturer has commented that the work is good. And they've made comments. And you'll see extra commentary on the sides, should you need to rework certain aspects of your assignment, and so on. So these are the three ways in which you're able to submit your assignment, run your assignment on Turnitin, as well as, as, well as um, being able to view feedback. So this is very important for you to know because for every um, assignment that's submitted, you obviously have to run it through Turnitin and you must also be able to see the feedback from the lecturer. So thank you very much for being with me. What I will show in the next video is other cool features that are available on Schoology. Thank you.